hallelujah holla back i'm back guys and i'm back to tell you about another milestone this time it does have to do with the breast cancer thing i did my last herceptin treatment today so basically herceptin was a mate or is a maintenance drug um i actually took herceptin along with uh, the chemo chemotherapy that I was on um, so I did that for six rounds of chemo which glory to God I don't even know how many months that equated to it, but it was every three weeks I did six week uh, six rounds of chemo and the Herceptin and this drug called Progetta are given in conjunction with the chemo. So I did that, but then the Herceptin actually lasts for a total of one year. So today marked my last Herceptin. Ha! <sighs> like, thank God. It's done. I'm over with it. And I have some of my favorite Merlot on deck for the occasion. Mm. Anyways, I'm just glad that that's over. My oncologist and also the cancer nurses, you know, they're all like, you should keep your port in up to a year, which here is my little boo-boo band-aid for covering the port after being stuck. Um, and I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling keeping it in for a year because, one, I just want this whole cancer journey to just be behind me. I just want it to be my past. And it's like, if I still have this port in, and the port is only there for the just-in-case, like, what if cancer comes back, like... So you'll still have the port. You won't have to go through having another one put in. Or I don't know, like, if there's an issue. Like, if they take it out, maybe they won't be able to put another one back in for a while. I don't know how the ports work. But my faith is that it's totally over. And I'm done with this port. And I'll never need it again in life. So. Just going to put that wine down. So that's what I'm thinking, and I'm just like, let me go on about my life. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just probably keep it in for like two months, maybe three. Me and my cousins have a trip coming up. I really didn't want to go around with this odd-looking, piece, ropey-looking crap in my neck. Looks like, you know, a super vein. I didn't want that going on, but I guess I got to do what I got to do. Um, that's really it. I just wanted you guys to celebrate with me this great, momentous occasion of Herceptin being over. No more IV treatments. Um, and I also did my echocardiogram recently, and those results were great. So... You know, I just, wow, I have people slamming doors and running upstairs in my background. Sorry, guys. But anyways, keep me in your prayers. I'm cancer-free for life. Um, and everybody is going through the struggle. Believe that it will end and believe that it will be in your favor. Because you know what? Nothing stronger than your belief. And also, man does not have the last say. Okay? Not one man, one woman, including a doctor, including somebody that said they've seen this hundreds of thousands of times because they're a professional and this is their line of work. Nobody can let you know when your time expires. No, excuse me. Let me, let me rephrase that. No one has the power on when your time expires, okay? So as long as you have your faith and your beliefs and you strongly believe in what you believe in, keep the faith. 
day in and day out and you'll see the outcome you'll see the outcome many blessings to everyone that's not just fighting cancer or breast cancer that's fighting any sort of disease you know that just gives you a bleak outlook and I'm sorry y'all know I jump all over the place I lost 10 pounds since last year and that's you know stress will really do you I think stress caused my cancer stress caused me to gain weight um, stress caused depression it's a lot of stuff that goes into stress being stressed out so you know I lost weight I beat cancer and I'm stress-free for the most part. I've learned how to manage my stress. That's the probably the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway from my whole battle with cancer was learning how to manage stress. Learning how to just authentically be who I am and not care what anyone thinks of it. I don't go out my way to harm people. Um, not in any sense, not physically, not verbally, mentally, psychologically. I don't go out of my way to harm anybody. I mind my business and I just am who I am. You know, sometimes it, in the past, it used to bother me if someone looked at me a certain way or someone's like, oh, you're not this or you're not that or, you know what I mean? Or you are this, you are that. And if that's not how I identify myself, it would bother me. But now it's just like, I am who I am. If you don't like it, please get the on, you know, leave me alone, let me go. Just don't think of me. And I promise I won't think of you. Um, you know, then also sometimes it was my own internal stressors. So I just learned how to manage it. The fact that I'm on anti-anxiety medication, that helps a lot too. But, like, I just have a whole totally different mindset. Like, I'm really, really just trying to continue to work on being the best person that I think I should be and could be in all realms and all aspects of what being a better person means. Um, so, that's my journey now. My journey is really finding myself and uh, I don't know I don't know maybe I don't have the words but but that's my journey that is my journey right now so probably a spiritual journey I'm continuing on that and you know just finding my niche in the world and also finding out what I can do to best help others so there we have it. Last Herceptin, Cancer what? Cancer who? Don't know you. Um, so that's what that is. And everybody, I hope y'all have a good time. Good day. And if anyone's watching this, when did you get your port out? If you had a port for cancer, for chemo treatment or whatever sorts of treatment, when did you let go of your port? And if it was... If you went against what your doctor recommended, like let's say, like I'm think leaning towards taking it out early, um, what pushed you to that resolution? Like what made you decide, forget what he or she is saying, I'm going to take it out now. And do you regret that move or do you feel at peace with it? Do you think you made the right decision? I'd like to know. Anyways, you all, as always, much love. I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> Bye, guys.